Good evening, beautiful people. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, world. Um, this is Minister Dean. Um, I have a word, and um, I just received this word on a few minutes ago. Um, for some people, this word is going to be a great word. For some, it's not going to be so great. Um, if you remember, uh, when Joseph was when Joseph was in prison, and the cupbearer and the the butler both had dreams. They both had dreams, and both of them was concerned about their dreams, and. The cupbearer went to Joseph and asked him to interpret his dream. And Joseph interpreted the dream for the cupbearer. And Joseph told him there was going to come a time when he is going to be released and he is going to be back in favor with the, with the Pharaoh and he is going to be serving the Pharaoh again. And when the, when the, the butler heard the word, um, that Joseph gave to the cupbearer. He went to Joseph and asked Joseph to interpret his dream. But unfortunately, what Joseph had to tell him, it wasn't a good word because what Joseph told him that he was going to die. Um, for some people, um, while some people going up, some people coming down, while some people are being blessed, it's going to be a, a, a reversal for others. Um, God has a set time. And in the fullness of time when stuff's supposed to manifest, man, God just releases it. So I, I want to encourage some people that are out there. I mean, you might have been in Lodabar. I mean, teens was rough for you. I mean, you, you, you couldn't get a seat at the table. I mean, you were struggling, you was broke, you was busted, you was disgusted. I mean, people walked away, they treated you like doormat. I mean, you, you didn't have a voice uh, because to them you were not important. Well, your fortune is about to change because God is about to take you from the back of the line and bring you to the front of the line. And there are some folks you've been eating like like kings. You've been living like kings. You and you've been enjoying the finer things in life and you didn't care about nobody but yourself. Well, your fortune is about to change also. So there's going there's a shift, there's a reversal. Um, and right now the last shall be first and the first shall be last. If you think I'm joking, watch this word. You, um, this this um, co coronavirus, I mean, if y'all think that this virus was sent to curse, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to look through the eyes, through some, some spiritual eyes and not natural eyes. You know what I'm saying? If you see what is going on, there's a shift in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is normal no more. You know what I'm saying? So the haves, you know what I'm saying? And the have-nots, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some shifting. So that is, that is why it is so important how you treat people. Because that person that you stepped on today, you don't know the plan, the future that God has for them, not tomorrow, but today. You understand? So now there's a shift in the air. You know what I'm saying? There's a shift in taking place. You remember Nelson Mandela? He spent, I think, about 25 years or 20-something years in prison. And when he came out of prison, what happened to him? He became the president of South Africa. So when he was in prison, most folks didn't pay him no attention. Most folks wasn't checking for him. Most folks, most folks wasn't paying him no mind. But when God has his hand on you, and when you got destiny and purpose on your side, and when God see it fit to elevate you, man, God will not only blow your mind, but he'll blow the minds of people around you. There's people that has been mistreating you. Because they didn't see the value in you. They didn't know who you was. What God had to do, God had to hide you. Because if some people really knew who you were, you know, they would befriend you and they would stay in your circle, not because of you, but because they know God has blessed you. They know what, God, what is on you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you remember the story of Laban? I mean, Laban, 
I mean, he was he he deceived uh, Jacob. I mean, when he told Jacob, you know, I'm going to give you my daughter. You work a certain amount of times, and after that certain amount of times, you know, I mean, Rachel, I'm going to give you my daughter. And when it was time to give the daughter, man, he switched the daughter and gave the give um, Jacob um, Leah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he gave Joseph Leah. Um, that Jacob Leah. J Jacob didn't sign up for Leah. He signed up for Rachel. And that's what you know. What I'm saying God will give you insight to the people that who have uh, been cheating you, been taken from you. You know them to get your stuff back because the the, um, the, the Laban's he, his sons knew that he was blessed because of Jacob. You know, and Laban knew he was blessed because of Jacob. You know what I'm saying? And God gave Jacob the insight that everything Laban was stealing from him to get it back and then some. And when Jacob left, man, Jacob was a loaded man. Jacob was a blessed man. And I'm telling you, it ain't how you start, but it's how you finish. You know what I'm saying? You might have started on the so-called wrong side of the fence, but that's what. God has put you on the right side of the fence. You know what I'm saying? When you connect with God, he will make everything wrong, right, every crooked path straight, and where there was darkness, he will bring light. You know what I'm saying? He will give you double for your trouble, and he will restore unto you the years that the locusts and the canker worm have eaten up. I want to encourage you. This word I'm giving, you know what time it is, and know, you know who you are. I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. My life will never be the same. I'm in a different place, and you are about to see the manifestation of God's glory like you have never seen it before. It isn't but Brother Ron Dean. It is about the God and Brother Ron Dean. And when God got purpose on your life, when that would God call for your life to come forth, there's nothing. No devil in hell can stop it. And I want to encourage you. Keep your confidence in God and don't be ashamed to big up your God because in the end, it was, it was God. And in the beginning, it was God. And in the middle, it was God. I love you guys. Stay blessed, Ron. Get excited about what is to come. Remember the story of, like I said in the beginning, you know, with the cup bearer. So you are about to come out of prison and you are about to go back into the palace. I love you guys. Stay blessed, Ron.